<sighs> Boy, I tell you. Bam Margera gets Britney Spears inspired. Tat. We've been through similar battles. Bam Margera got some fresh new ink while on the road to recovery, and this piece pays homage to Britney Spears. Some with, with whom he says he has alarming similarities. Whoa. The former star hit up first hand tattoo in Pennsylvania and got the Brit inspired tattoo, which reads Britney Spears. Oops, they did it to me too. And there it goes the tattoo. Now tell me how weird this is. Does that say Dr. Phil in the bottle? Oh man, and that symbolism. That looks like something creepy that doesn't that look like the you know what I don't even want to go there right now. Anyway, Britney Spears, oops, they did it to me too. Why? Who does this? Just say no to drugs, kids. He says the meaning behind it is all about the Florida shuffle. A phrase used to describe substance abusers with good health insurance in the Sunshine State. <sighs> they are constantly sent to various rehab centers which repeatedly charge their insurance. <clears throat> Just weird. Who does this type of stuff, man? It's, it doesn't make any sense, you know? It's crazy stuff. Bam says that describes him to a T. And points to Britney's time in her conservator, conservatorship. I don't know how to say this stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. Them weird words be throwing y'all. As being painfully similar to what's been going down with him. He's dragging his interventionalist for allegedly cashing in by keeping Dan in rehab. Well, we know they want to make money off you. I mean, you're a celebrity and you. Probably a millionaire. I don't know if he's a millionaire now, but you, you worth some money. So yeah, you know, you was on a, on a on a TV show. Y'all was doing a lot of crazy stuff. Bam says he's done the Guinness Book of World Records of longest Florida shuffle of nearly two years. That's crazy. Which includes ten back-to-back -back rehabs. Sheesh. Stays that cost a total of six hundred and sixty thousand dollars that's insane bro see i told you they got money you like the cash cow homie they trying to come up off you okay i don't want to read that because he's saying profanity and i'm trying to keep this page clean as i can as we reported and this is a tmz article by the way they get all the news right how they be finding out stuff so quick they be on the scene and everything. I'm like, how they get there? Ben recently celebrated being one month sober after going in and out of rehab this year. And sources told us he's been spending his time with his girlfriend, Danny, on a farm outside of Philadelphia. What he doing out there? We were told he's been losing weight, getting back into skateboarding tight circle, positive influences around him, all good things for the guy. But yeah, he get crazy tattoos like this. Bruh, just stop. Hold on before I end this. It's just these, these celebrities, man. They they be going through some through the motions, don't they? Okay. Um Leviticus 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. That's the King James Version. So Let's break that down. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Get it? Cuttings in your flesh. What's that talking about? It's talking about piercings. For the dead. Nor print. What is print? Print is the ink. Any marks upon you. It's talking about tattoos. So... We shouldn't be doing these things, y'all. Okay? It's your boy Donnie. I'm out. Especially not for no celebrities. Come on. It's crazy.